Well, now to this, a 19-year-old girl is dead after a possible accidental shooting at a home in Crosby. Take a look. This is what we know so far. It happened last night in a neighborhood on Sherry Lane near Lord Road. Deputies say two teen boys had a firearm inside the home when it went off, striking that 19-year-old. We still have some interviews to complete uh, with the two males that were there. So uh, we, once we do that, we'll present all that, those facts and all that information to the Harris County District Attorney's Office for any possible charges, if any. Police recovered the gun at the home and believe it belongs to the victim's roommate, who was not there during the time of the shooting. An investigation is underway after two mail carriers were robbed at gunpoint. According to our news partners, on December 7th, the first robbery happened shortly before 3 p.m. near Yorktown Street and Westheimer Road. The second robbery happened about two and a half hours later near Century Plaza and Imperial Valley Drive. Police say the suspects are two men believed to be in their early 20s and about six feet in height. USPS is offering a $50,000 reward for information leading to their arrest. A Pearland woman will now spend the next 20 years in prison for her role in beating and sexually assaulting a man at a Northwest Harris County bar. According to our news partners, it's back in February of 2021 that 31 year old Ariel Cordoba and 38 year old Felix Valle actually worked together to beat a 49 year old man unconscious and then continued to beat and assault him at the bar. The victim underwent several surgeries after the attack and continues to recover to this day. Navale was convicted on December 6 by a jury and sentenced to 82 years in prison. And a man is in custody and another is still on the loose after assaulting and robbing a 69-year-old man leaving a convenience store in North Houston. Houston police have arrested 37-year-old Joseph Jornet and is searching for 22-year-old William Alexander Amero. The suspects reportedly took the man's wallet and cash before driving off in different vehicles on December 5th. If you have any information about this case, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers. That number is on your screen.